stopwatch this time, so I actually remember how the long episodes. I usually get two episodes out of this anyway, unless we really bomb badly. Three. Let me guess who's get the countdown. I'll do intro. Then we get three, or you don't air it. I'm going to do intro in three, two. Hey, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Warp Jester Does War Games. And tonight I am joined once again by Silverfire. Hello. And this time we actually have Cosmic with us. Hi. Oh, I it all works. <laughs> it all works now. Cosmic is happy. I'm going to go ahead and kind of scoot around the corner here and go off to B. Make sure you throw a whole bunch of torpedoes down there, because oh, so yeah. far, every time I've played this as a destroyer, oh, yeah, this is a nasty just throw, throw some torpedoes down the alley, and I get a kill. Yeah, no, I, I've, I've learned from this map. I got stuck in this map, like, four times in a row. And it's like, okay, if I'm on this map with my destroyer, running here is so a dumping torps left and right. If I'm on battleship, stay the hell away from it. <laughs> And Cosmic is ever so slowly running up behind me. Yeah, I just got in the game. Wow. Oh god, there's already a flippin' flippin' hack. Okay, let's go ahead and just... double X. fighters well hell's blazes smoke generator started I have turned too fast for my freaking guns to keep up Oh crap. Oh crappers. Oh dang crappers. Oh dang crappers. I'm getting just all kinds of hoser here. You're in the middle of like five million ships. I hadn't noticed. Dude, seriously. Where the hell are you, jerk off? There he is. Nope, 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 where are you, Cosmic? <coughs> There's Tweak. There he is. A Cosmic is an aficionado of the uh, cruiser class. He's got one hell of a mean freaking looking cruiser. Good lord. What tier is that? Six. Jesus. Um, you just nosed right into somebody. 
<laughs> As he slides right across his nose. <laughs> God, man. Come on. Come on. Get another kill. Wow, that that's four turrets with three barrels each. Five, six secondaries. A whole bunch of anti-air. Oof. Dude, you you are a scary ass cruiser, my friend. Pew pew. <laughs> now you're firing on uh, battleships. Are you using uh, AP rounds? Uh, right now I'm using high explosive. Okay. So HE is really good at starting fires. The battleships have such obnoxious amounts of uh, life that they tend to not uh, be so damaged by fire. As a matter of fact, my battleship, I tend to let the fires burn because I really couldn't care less. Trying to remember all the buttons. <laughs> Get in the fight, guys. Wow, this is a... I'm not really sure what they're doing back there. There's a whole bunch of guys just kind of hanging back behind the island. This is kind of a herper derp uh, team. Well, on the bright side, you should be reasonably safe, uh, Tweak, because, you know, there's a whole bunch of guys still on our side of the field that can save you. Uh, I'm down to... I'm almost out of fighters. Oh, really? Yeah. He said he went all fighters, didn't he? He's got, he's got two squadrons of fighters and one of bombers. He's already upgraded. That's the, the, the layout that I was going to do. I thought this was I'm, I'm out of fighters. I am a completely out of fighters. And why? Some people are. Okay, so we have a battleship that's just sitting. Yeah, it, it's unfortunate. There are a lot of people who feel more inclined to stay behind and just basically get XP for being in the game as opposed to actually getting their butts out there. I, mean, I won't lie, I'll, I'll lag a bit sometimes when I've got a, a, a crappy tier ship so that I can get them to focus on other people and then I can try to swoop in and start lining up. But the tactic here, like what Cosmos is currently, is he's using island cover to help minimize the amount of people that can take shots at him. And he's barreling in on people that are close and easy shots for him. And that's exactly what you want to do. Get up close and actually start using the terrain and trying some shots in. Got incoming on you, bud. Oh, they're all high, too. That was beautiful. No salvo incoming. Those definitely hit. Oof. Yeah, there you go. Now, being that Sal is a uh, cruiser, he's a little more maneuverable, so as you saw there, he can easily uh, do a little juking and it was minimize the number of uh, targets. And that battleship's coming across right where some guys are. That battleship took a nasty broadside from the oh, they way messed up on that one. I'm officially out of fighters. And all planes. All planes? That's what happens when you when you're going against a carrier that's set up for primarily fighters. He sends two squadrons against your one squadron of whatever you happen to have, and, mm -hmm. and there's nothing you can do about it. That's unfortunate. Six no. on twelve makes for a losing battle. The, the, the only thing I can think of is, is to roll your your fighters around uh, ships that have a lot of anti-air to help out with. Once uh, like, once they're engaged, they can't break away. No, but I'm saying circle your fighters around a, a ship that's got anti-air to try to help out. Huh? That's just it. Once, if there is ever a moment where you're not around it, 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 does, it won't make a difference.
birds, and even when you are around one, they're fighter planes. They're the small maneuverable ones. Wow, lucky on that one. Big Salvo came in and just missed Cosmo. And this is not looking real good for us. We have too many chuckles mucking about and not really getting their crap together. Cosmos is doing a really good job. He's he's constantly changing his uh, direction, which is making it hard for the uh, other team to line up shots. You can see they're constantly either aiming higher or lower. That's one of the key things you definitely want to keep in mind with these. Is, is as nifty and convenient as it is to just stand still or run a straight line for uh, aiming. That makes you a fixed target, and that's what you don't want to do. So the fact that he is still getting shots off lying up on people, but also constantly juking helps minimize the damage. Yeah, he's taking hits, but it would be a lot worse situation right now had he not been trying to do a little juke here and there. At some point, especially when you have a situation like this, when you start getting low, you just need to start tailing it, beeline it for an island, or, uh-oh, that's border. He just got hung up on it. Yeah, it just didn't turn the other way. <laughs> yeah, in a lot of cases like this, especially when you're low on life and you've got people beating on you, sometimes you just need to find an island or at least get behind some other ships and basically just kind of make yourself a not target for a few. Because if they see you and they see that you're low, they will concentrate fire on you and try to take you out and get that point for, uh, for a kill, for a sink. Oh, it's just insulting. Oh, that's all going in. Oh, that's unfortunate. You did you do a fabulous job, man. That, that was that was a lot of lot of maneuvering. Yeah, you you certainly lasted a lot longer because of it. Definitely not one of our better games there. And sadly, at this point, we got just uh, silver. I left. am a batting ram. You're a battering ram. I am down to just my battering ram capabilities. Oh really? All your all your uh, fires are gone. I mentioned that a long time ago. I mean, all fire. I mean, all all your planes are gone. Even your bombers are gone. Yep. So basically, the only thing you can really do is just get into range of somebody and be a target, or <laughs> or just try hang out and survive. Hey, I got 103 hits. I'm kind of proud of that. 103? Yep. Jesus, man, I got four. <laughs> Seven fires, five, uh, whatever the lightning bolt is. Uh, that's critical damage. You knocked out something on their ship. One plane and two freaking flags or whatever those are. Capture. Well, there's, there's, there's uh, capture and then there's defense. There's a flag with a circle around it, like a dog circle. It's a green flag with a circle around okay, it. Okay, yeah, that that that's uh, what they call defense. Or, uh, is... Tell me now for some reason. But basically, it's if, if you fire on somebody who's trying to cap a point, you get points for that. for that at least I'm trying to kill time here watch uh, bloody or blueby take pot shots on this guy over here patent 44 I got it. Oh, oh guys down to 12 wide that's it yeah. good night Oh, that's got me free. And this, <laughs> this guy's down at 12, and you can't get him. There he goes. <laughs> God, it's like one full salvo. The guy's at 12, and he still can't do it. It's like, oh, God. That's got to be painful. And the quarterback is toast. Did you get taken out? 
Oh yeah. He had a destroyer on him. Oh yeah. yeah that, that that's end game right there. All right, let's go ahead and pop back out to the port here. Watch these knuckleheads fail miserably. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the fact that everybody's got different skill levels, but there's sometimes it's just like, ah, oh, come on now. <laughs> give me, give me a break. All I know is that so far, every time I've played aircraft carrier against people, all of my planes get owned. Just owned. Well, I'll just do all fighters and have the upper hand, and then uh, you'll have a whole bunch of games where there's no other aircraft carrier, so it won't matter. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ready up on my uh, battleship. You're doing battleship. I guess I can do cruiser then. No, oh, two cruisers. I feel so loved. <sighs> ready, ready, ready? Ready up. The other thing I'm trying to do right now is get my... Captain, uh, his next uh, level on my battleship because there's a next tier I want to get to that just takes three points for the captain to get a perk. And there's actually two perks in that tier I want. One of which uh, gives me an extra consumable, which for a battleship is excellent because a, a battleship have a heal consumable. And having an extra heal, very beneficial. Um, but there's also one that has uh, uh, basically an extended range of awareness for torpedoes that are incoming. And that's incredibly helpful since there's a lot of people who will drop torpedoes General back quarters. to try to do area control or just, you know, basically try to get a lucky shot in. Um, so that's kind of a benefit to have that better range, so to speak. I'm we sure. have no destroyers and they have... Ooh, is that lopsided? Well, that just means good turkey shoot for you guys. Sucks for oh, me. I'm still not in the game yet. My God. When we get, when you get in, cut port side, head west, or sorry, east. No, 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 no. We need to control that t uh, destroyer alley over there. Yeah, great. Let's let me let me go ahead and turn my battleship around and go straight for that alley. This sounds like no, a no, great you, plan. You, the battleship stays out of that alley and just throws shells in there. Oh, he We're the me. ones that mix it up. All right, all right. You, 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 you go, you go fishing the barrel it, and I'll uh, sit outside and laugh and take pot shots with my AP rounds that I really shouldn't have right now. Let's just go ahead back to HE. <laughs> So again, for people who haven't played before, the uh, HE or high explosive rounds are good at starting fires and knocking out components, causing problems. Um, but they don't do a lot of damage to heavier armored ships like battleships, heavy cruisers, etc. Whereas AP, which is armor piercing, have a good way of going through heavier armor belts like battleships and cruisers. Um, really good for getting citadel shots, which I like to do, they do a lot of damage. Um, wow, really? Hey, you're getting shot at. I, I, I actually picked up on that. And I bet those torpedoes are headed your way, too. Pretty sure it's like this shit. Oh, shite. That's gonna suck. Yeah, this is gonna be all kinds of fun for me. I'm trying to turn into one of them, I know I'm gonna get broadside to the other. Anybody who's worth their salt for uh, aircraft carriers knows we run your torpedo bombers together, and you do exactly what this guy's doing right here. This is gonna cross hatch me. Um, there's one to the tail again. Oh! That's fine. I'll, I will. I will gladly take to the side. That's what the armor belt's for. As you saw, I took very little damage from it. But whenever you hit in the tail, it's almost a goddamn guarantee that you're gonna get. Uh, uh, really? You're gonna get a rudder knocked out, which just angers me to no end. Did I 
this one cruiser is just hell bent on making my life easier. Oh, jeez. Wait, why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> Don't run! Don't run! Damn, missed them. The thing about I like, dislike is that the turrets are so slow to uh, rotate that having to do a full spin around sucks because you're going to end up having a bunch of time wasted trying to uh, get your turrets back around. Sal, don't hit me. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. That is beautiful. here since I see a battleship. Oh man, that is a nasty cluster right there. Yeah, so that's, you're not getting crap for hits. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Yeah. Oh, uh, island, island, island. I don't really recommend hitting those, just for the record. How did the battleship just disappear? Oh, that would be fine. Alright, I'm gonna have to end around here because the sink doing it for me. Oh, I can't steer. <laughs> Lose your rudder by chance. It's one of the more infuriating things. I, I, I actually hate losing my rudder more than anything just because I lose control and I really want to get around or whatever the case may be. Even losing my uh, engine I can handle better, usually because I end up get missing a, uh, a salvo just because they don't expect me to slow down. <laughs> Damn it. God, I am just way off on those. I'm so gonna die. I'm getting cheesed here. Problem solved, sir. Alright, then. Hit him, hit him. There we go. That's a kill. Do you have control of that channel yet? Mister, I'm going to run uh, into a turkey shoot. I, I, I have control of everything that is below the water. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. God, you guys are letting one, one freaking uh, destroyer control there the channel. There are three in the channel. It's okay, we got the Kawachi there. He'll save us. Oh my god, it's like a goddamn clusterfuck over here. I'm also surprised nobody's hit anybody yet. And speak of the devil. Hmm. Wait. Wait. I missed him. Oh, but the force of the torpedoes, the torpedoes are actually going to hit. Sucks to be him. <laughs> Thanks! Appreciate it! Oh, 
Oh, good lord. Why? Right. Ooh, got another, uh, Citadel on somebody. Fires so wildly right now. I'm not even paying attention to who it is I'm hitting. <laughs> Take out that Phoenix. You're strong. One more shot should do it. I am doing horrible this time. Oh, low! Dang it. Okay, I've got battleship two. Our aircraft story. carrier. Oh, someone needs to turn back and protect the ass end of our aircraft carrier. Oh, great. He's got a destroyer headed towards him. Yeah, I see it. Can't get to it. Freaking island's in my way. I think Sal's over there. Go, Cosmic! Yes, I don't like this damn cove. It, it's nothing but bad news for me. Steep little island mountains that I can't shoot around. And torpedoes popping out. Oh, I see their, I see their freaking CV. Hello, CV. I'd like to have a word with you because I'm kind of annoyed right now. My game just crashed. God okay. dang it, that battleship has like no life left. Or destroyer. And he's gonna get a clean shot on our carrier. 143 health. Oh man, fired off another salvo because I'm back in the game, and right as the fan coming down, it freaking uh, got blown up. It's dead. Oh, this other CV here has got a uh, <laughs> has got a cruiser on it. I burnt that destroyer. Oh, he is so screwed. Oh, One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's God. Way too many. Way too many. I didn't uh, see it. Oh, but the destroyer is definitely not on the board anymore. So that Furutaka is last one left. Jester, did you kill the CVs or the yeah the carriers? No, I I I say I fired that salvo and uh, my game crashed. Relaunched the game, put me right back into the game we were in. So I fired another sal salvo, and right as salvo was coming down, it blew up. So I targeted the second one, but it already had 12 torpedoes coming at it. No. <laughs> it's like, you know what? Not even worth my time. So you're just going to go capture their base and say, fuck it. Well, pff, I, I, I've got their last ship in, in, uh, in range of me. But there really isn't much I can do at this point. Oh, and he's so screwed. After big hits like that? Yeah, nah, he's... he's oh, he's, he's got dead torpedoes. before I even get there. Well, I got hit on him. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> Alright. Well, um... So, yeah, uh... We won that one. <laughs> so, now I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight. <laughs> I didn't expect to get back into it. Uh... Anyways, guys, as I said before, stay happy, stay healthy. Good night.